Hi everyone, I've got a interesting effect here that I'd like to share with uh, all of you and like to uh, get your feedback on it. And uh, what I have is a small coil here that's uh, stock out of a uh, shaded pole motor. And um, what a shaded pole motor is, is one of these little motors, if you, uh, you most likely have seen them. And uh, these I have taken out of microwave ovens. Uh, microwave ovens always have a fan to circulate uh, the air through it. And uh, basically I cut with a grinder the core here. And then this center core here can just slide right out. And right now I'm not using the uh, core. Uh, it's completely empty. And what I'll do is I'll introduce a neo-magnet inside the core and the neomagnet I'll put in there is a half inch neomagnet by one eighth of an inch thick and what I'll do is I'll pulse the uh, neomagnet I'll show you at very very low frequency what the magnet does and then I'll increase the frequency starting at about 40 Hertz and I'll increase it all the way up to about uh, 160 Hertz so right now I'm on the 100 uh, times uh, scale and uh, I'm on uh, square wave. And I'm using only the output of the signal generator to show you this. And I have that output going through my high quality here uh, amp meter and I have it uh, set to sine wave. And I know this meter can definitely measure the, accur the accuracy of this uh, pulse here in milliamps. And um, I'll show you here, I'll, I'll put the output out and show you what the coil is drawing. So at, at 40 hertz, that coil, okay, on square wave with the output full out is drawing 85 milliamps. And once I will be going all the way up to about uh, 160 hertz, uh, the draw will be about 79 milliamps. All right. So what I'll do now is I'll stop the camera and just insert this uh, neo magnet in there and show you what uh, what's going on. Well, maybe I can even do that. Let me just turn that down, dial this down, stick the magnet in. Okay. So the magnet's in there. I'll increase the output here. So that's what's going on with the magnet. It's just flip-flopping up and down like that. All right? But it'll be doing that at a very higher frequency. So I'll bring it to uh, 40 hertz, and it kind of gets loud, so I don't know how well you're going to hear me. So here goes, 40 hertz. Okay, now remember what our draw was, and we're already down at 55 milliamps. All right, so we're at just 40 hertz right now. Now I'll increase it. There's 50 hertz. There's 60 hertz. 70 hertz. 80 hertz. 90 hertz. 100 hertz. 110 hertz, 110 hertz. Oh, sorry, my <coughs> sorry, my output here wasn't full out. Okay, we're full out now. Let's start that over here. Okay, 40 hertz, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, 70 hertz. 80 hertz, 90, 100, 110, 120 hertz, 130, 140, 150, and there's 160 hertz. That's about our top efficiency is right there. Just a little over 160 hertz. 
we're at about 23 milliamps draw. Now if I keep going up, I could lose the magnet, but actually it starts increasing uh, current draw as I go up. So I'm close to 1.7 or 170 hertz here, and as you see it's going up now. So the efficient point of this uh, coil and magnet configuration is about right there. So it's interesting to see that now we're down to 23 uh, milliamps. And I'll give you a close up here of the magnet pulsing. And there you go. So this is what I would like to uh, share. And let me just jump the frequency and you'll see the magnet will just fall out. And you'll see the amp draw of that coil, really. Okay, the magnet's gone. And there's the same frequency. And really, that coil would draw normally 78.8 uh, milliamps at that frequency. I haven't changed anything else. So, uh, I find that is kind of interesting. And uh, if anyone knows uh, about this effect, Maybe you can share and tell me uh, uh, why uh, we shouldn't be looking at this, but I think it's uh, something that should be researched. And with uh, my residence, I'm quite sure if I find maybe the right configuration of magnet and coil size and frequency, uh, maybe we can actually uh, have uh, utilize this effect. And um, I'll do another video as well of attaching a bulb. I've actually attached a bulb on this. Now I can show you, you know, once the coil's at a certain frequency, what it draws with that light bulb. And um, basically, uh, the effect obviously reduces the current draw uh, with a load on it as well. So it works uh, both ways. And this video is just to demonstrate this first. And uh, if there's interest, I'll keep uh, doing other videos and we can uh, share this uh, information. Thanks for watching. Bye now.